Both trials for Lesnar Reish Mirani in the house. Kunal, let's begin by discussing the fact that we ended at the highest point of the trading session. There was good amount of momentum in the banking and the FMCG index. Will we power on from there or uh, what's the view for the day today? Yeah, it was a good recovery for the banking index and I think that was one of the major reasons why you saw the index also lifting up uh, towards you know, a, a retest of the 24900 plus mark. So uh, in the second half of the you know, market trend yesterday, where we saw some uh, you know, good recovery for the banking index, we jumped by 500 points. Now, interestingly, what's uh, changed in the data for uh, the indices is uh, an evidence of short covering for both the indices, Nifty as well as Bank Nifty. So we've seen almost 6.5% uh, of unwinding for the banking index and 3.5% odd for the Nifty. And that uh, itself is a very strong signal because over the last 2-3 days, the indices were showing some build of built up of you know, short positions. So, which means we could now be looking at a fresh range for the index. 25,050 still remains to be a, a strong uh, you know, resistance for the index uh, on the spot levels. Uh, hopefully, if we break past about this level today, then we could be looking at a potential retest of the previous highs for the indices. All right, morning, Naresh. Let's get in a take from you as to how you read into the market action that we witnessed in trade yesterday. Uh, closing in just around the 25,000 mark, what's the strategy for the day? So after a really long time, we really saw Bank Nifty outperform the Nifty as well as the small cap and the mid cap indices. So we need to see if we get a follow up on this or it was just a one day move. If that happens, we get into a stronger trend for the overall markets because uh, uh, this move uh, towards 25,000 has been mainly supported by uh, names like IT, Pharma, FMCG. Yesterday, FMCG hit a new all time high. Pharma is up 15% over the last two, three months. Uh, so if banks take a lead, uh, that would be a very strong indication. So for now, watching out for the banks uh, for the next couple of weeks, if they can show follow up. Overall, we still have a defensive tilt on the markets. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.